hope you guys really liked that intro because it is my new intro for my WandaVision or Making of Scarlet Witch series. Hey guys, it's Jedi Amanda, and I am going to be bringing to you today a little bit different type of video. I'm going to introduce you to my cosplay sketchbook. Some of you guys have seen this in my Instagram stories here and there, but this is something that I tend to, or at least try to do before I do a cosplay is sit down and write, draw, just kind of mind meld outward what I want to do for this project. It's, it's also kind of a, uh, I would say a bit of a break from, you know, the, the sewing and a chance for me to paint a little bit and to draw a little bit, but this is something that I try to do before each costume that I make, and I want to incorporate this as part of every series that I do from here on out on YouTube. So for the rest of this video, you're just going to see me kind of draw out, obviously, <laughs> my Scarlet Witch plan, what I decide to do, I sketch a little bit, I paint a little bit, but also I wanted to come in here and talk with you guys about what's going on, you know, in the state of <laughs> my life right now. and the upcoming WandaVision Scarlet Witch making series. It's still happening, don't worry. But I wanted to have like a chit chatty type of just sit down and chill video as you watch me paint and draw and ink and make pencil lines like you're seeing right here. With that being said, I just want to talk about how important my little cosplay journal is here before we get to talking about anything else is that I, I really do suggest you guys do this if you have any kind of bullet journaling or wanting to kind of narrow out your ideas first on paper rather than digitally before you start a costume because I really enjoy this process to just kind of take an hour or two to just draw and paint and have everything to do with my cosplay that's upcoming and just kind of sit and let your mind be free and talk about in your head and write all the things you want to do. So. I am actually sectioning off my sketchbook here to the places that I'm going to have like a little sketch of Wanda. I'm going to have a spot for what are the notions that I want to buy, what are the patterns that I want to buy, how much fabric do I want to buy, and any other notes, maybe deadlines or just design notes that I want to capture right here and just kind of have this spread just be for Wanda Maximoff and my cosplay build. So now we're getting into the thick of me, you know, drawing and painting and you're seeing it right here. I kind of want to talk about the timeline that I'm going to be doing with this build. Um, right now, as of this video, I have not actually, no, I take it back. I have started making her a little bit. I have all of my fabric in. I have most of my notions and I kind of have an idea of how I'm going to go about making this costume. I actually do have my pants made because that was for a company that I was doing a collab with with writing some articles on so I went ahead and just made some pattern made my pants for that because it involved that article that I was posting for them so I was like ooh killing two birds with one stone weirdly but um, I have a lot on my plate right now I have some really cool announcements coming up uh, with some companies that I'm gonna be working with as well as doing articles and collabs with other companies and also trying to work on top of all of this, it's it's getting to be kind of a lot. And I hate saying this, but like it's pushing my cosplays to the side and I don't like that. It's weird because all of my business that I'm doing right now, well, I guess I can go ahead and say this, that I actually am going to be writing a follow-up book to my creative cosplay book that I released last year. I am currently in the very, very, very beginning stages of that. I cannot give out what I will be writing about, but I can tell you that I am writing it. So that's super exciting and I'm so, so pumped to write another book, but that's also on my shoulders. I'm writing another book. And um, I don't know if you guys checked out my last, my video last year about the writing process for the book. Um, it pretty much took me all summer of 2019 and some months in the spring before that to write the book. So it's, it's a lot. And I need to have that amount of time to write the book. Also, I need to have 
a certain amount of time to make Wanda because she's going to be incorporated in the book, especially with a lot of photographs. Also, I am working with Alpha still as a Alpha expert this year. And I also have another announcement that will be coming soon that I can't wait to talk to you guys about. Can't announce it right now. But with another company. So it's it's getting to be a lot. And I didn't really realize how much it was until the past two months. And I've kind of just been like mentally slowing down. And I, I just want to go out there and, and, and tell everybody this and like really be honest with yourself and burnout. I... I don't know if I have burnout right now because I have so many things that I just need to freaking do that I got to get over the burnout or if this is a symptom of burnout. I'm not sure how to really go about it, but it happens, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. It, I didn't really see this video going this way, but hey, you're going to listen to me chat about it. But I, I think I am burnt out to a point of like fizzling. Like, my fire is there, and then I have all the things I need to do, and I know what to get done. But, like, every time I walk upstairs to sew, I am exhausted, and I don't want to do it. And I don't know if that is just, like, me losing, losing interest in making Wanda. I don't think it is, but it's almost like my brain is connected or disconnected from, like, my calendar. I guess it's weird to say that, but... It's, it's just strange and I want to be honest with a lot of people out there that, you know, cosplay is not my full-time job. It kind of feels like it is now. It's pretty much a second full-time job because of all the collaborations that I do and the books that I write and costumes that I make is sucking up all my extra time versus my other 9 to 5 that I work. So. It's, it's a lot and I just want to share or tell you all if any of you guys are experiencing that level of weight on your shoulders, no matter what it is, that there are other people out there that are experiencing it too. And that is me! Raise his hand really high. That is me. So don't feel like you need to make everything at this minute. Don't feel like people are pressuring you to make things so fast. You know, when you have a deadline, you have a deadline. You need to make that. Um, especially if it's with a company or a professional deadline, but know what you can do. I never really experienced this level of weight on my shoulders in a long time as far as with cosplay. I think back in the day when I was competing a lot in cosplay, I felt the weight because, you know, in competition when you make something there's a weight on your shoulders because you want it to do well in the competition. You know, people sign up for a competition to, you know, to win. Or, you know, you can still go on and have fun, but you can't doubt your, you know, tell, tell yourself that you wouldn't like to win or place or, you know, do well in the competition. So you have this pressure on your shoulders that you want your costume to do well. And I kind of feel like this for this, because instead of competitions that I'm doing, I'm working with companies that I'm making content for and I want it to do well for them so I can keep doing what I'm doing but also I want my content to do well and be good so it's weird it is a very strange aspect of cosplay career I guess I would say that I have right now that's so funny to me because I would have never called myself a cosplay career woman but honestly I think that's freaking what it is you know I'm not guesting at conventions. I'm not doing the personality thing. Well, I guess I am on YouTube, but I'm doing the content creating for companies that want to work with me as a influencer, which is so weird to say. It's so strange to say a cosplay influencer or a craft influencer. It's so odd, but I'm, I'm really blessed that I have gotten all these opportunities. It's so freaking cool to be able to be working with products that I've used ever since I started sewing. It's so neat, but I need to keep telling myself that it's okay to say no, or it's okay to reschedule some things. I've learned that recently. So to take away moral of this story, burnout happens, it happens to everybody no matter your level of cosplay and if you are feeling any type of burnout with costume uh, costuming cosplay social media for that take a break like 
stop or do something else. But if you're also feeling burnout with stuff that, you know, you're contractually obliged to do, um, talk with the people that you're the company with, or in this case, what I do is my Virgo heart comes out and makes me schedule everything and make lists of everything like nobody's business. I have lists all over the place, digitally, on paper, in my sketchbook of stuff I have to do, and that helps me compartmentalize things and be able to still create content and not feel so overloaded. Um, I do these things because personally I want to be better in the professional world of craft and cosplay, so I say yes a lot to a lot of things. and. I find that wonderful and great and a great opportunity, but sometimes I say yes and everything just kind of collides all in the same month. So I find myself making tons of lists and being real with the amount of work that I want to do after I get off work. You know, since I work a nine to five and I'm still working at home, I can stop my work, have dinner, work out, and then go do my other job, which is all of this. <laughs> and that's great. But sometimes I just don't have a break. And I never realized what break and rest is until my 30s. <laughs> and like, I feel like in my 20s when I was cosplaying and doing everything like 100 miles an hour, I was like, I can do this. I got this. I can do this all day long, you know? But um, recently, I guess, and especially with the pandemic, I have been more tired like so much more tired and I don't know I don't know why I'm at home I should be able to bounce to work and then bounce to my sewing room and then be able to work till or sew till two in the morning and be like the happiest person ever but I'm like so freaking exhausted <laughs> I hate it uh so moral of the story guys make some lists and also be real with your lists if Please schedule yourself a night of video gaming or schedule yourself a dinner with your friends and then come back and not do anything. You know, I'm a type of person that will, okay, well, I can go an hour here and then come back, do two hours of writing uh, this article, and then I can do an hour of sewing. But in reality, <laughs> when I come back from dinner, do I want to go to work? It's nine o'clock at night. Maybe I want to watch four seasons of Family Guy on the couch with my cat and that's okay because that is rest and that makes it makes everything you well everything else you do better Family Guy aside but it makes things a lot better if you give yourself time to rest and I am one of the worst people at resting like you can ask any one of my friends I don't know how to freaking rest because if I'm sitting down Oh, well, I need to sketch or no, I need to finish this design or let me schedule social media for tomorrow. Like if I have downtime, I need to be working. And I have learned that recently. I got to break that habit. <laughs> it is bad. And uh, it's just, it's tough. It's tough. But I'm learning. I'm getting better. I'm having a lot better. I'm, I'm basically sticking to my schedule a lot more now than I was earlier in the year. Earlier in the year, I was a freaking mess. I don't know. I didn't think I was going to finish Ahsoka, to be honest, but I did. And we're here <laughs> getting ready to work on Wanda. But I am just in the midst of, of getting everything else together and starting as well as trying to start writing chapters for a book and also doing collaborations with the companies and things are just running together. And I'm just like... I need a chatty session with my YouTube subscribers and other followers of my work to tell them what the hell is going on <laughs> because my lord, there's a lot. So, hey guys, this is what's going on. It became a chatty YouTube sketchbook, bullet journal, whatever hashtags I want to add to this freaking video, who knows. But I really hope you enjoy me talking and listening to everything I had to say because the more, the older I get, the more I realize that I am not 23 anymore and cosplaying 14 different characters in a year. I, <laughs> I am doing amazing things at 32, but also I really need to rest and slow down. <sighs> 
and most people would think Amanda doesn't slow down because she's still making costumes during this pandemic. I've seen, I've seen the comments out there. I know what you guys say that I'm still cranking out work like crazy, which I am, but also that's just what I enjoy to do. Like I, I really enjoy making costumes and recording them and making videos, even though I'm like, I didn't get the deadline in time or, you know, something didn't happen. I really enjoy doing this, and so that's why I'm doing it. If for some reason you want to video game over making cosplays, my lord, please do that. Right now is a time where we all need rest and thoughtful, mindful, I don't know, work home life. <laughs> so please do what you want. And if you want to make cosplays like crazy like me, join in. I'm on Twitter until 4 a.m. usually. Come tweet me. <laughs> Okay, so let's wrap up this very chatty sketchbook duh, video you want to talk or that I'm talking about here. So, in conclusion, this is my cosplay sketchbook. So from here on out, anytime I start a new cosplay, we're gonna have a spread, a very chatty what I plan to do. Oh, I didn't even really talk about what I plan to do. Well, <laughs> I mean, you can kind of see it here in the video, me writing out what I plan to do. But I guess I can go ahead and say so. For Wanda, um, the first thing we're going to try to do is, um, I will back it up a little bit. Um, I ended up getting the fabric from Parallel Life Studios for Wanda, and I love it, except the color is a little off for me. It's a little too pink. So the first thing I'm actually going to do, and probably what you guys are going to see in the first vlog, is Alex and I painting fabric <laughs> into a color that I want. So I'll show you guys what's going on there. But before I can really proceed anywhere else, I have to get the fabric to the right color I want. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. But I think the very first piece that we're gonna work on is the bodice. Uh, that is going to incorporate a beautiful corset that I made underneath of it. And the bodice will be built on top of that. I'll be doing a duct tape. Um, pattern version of myself so I can get everything really precise and not have bad tailoring and fitting issues like I did on my poor katana because for some reason my mannequin just wants to screw with me upstairs my dress form and all my measurements are off with that so I need to redo all of that so we're gonna do a duct tape dress form for that and I'll show you guys how so the bodice will be the first thing that needs to be done then we will probably move to the pants I have the pants completed but we need to add all of the uh, trim work on that and then after that, we'll probably do either the boots or the cape. And then the last thing we'll probably do is the gloves. Um, so a lot of people have asked details that I'm going to be doing for Wanda. And I am going to be casting a lot of those center details on her bodice and the pants out of silicone. This is a look that I really, really like. I want very precise, very clean edges. And my goodness, my foam work is not the best. And I don't know why, but I'm not the best at foam. And I am going to try a new method. Um, we're going to sculpt and cast in silicone and apply to my super suit um, with some different types of glue. And you know, if all else fails, we'll go back to foam. I'm not too worried about it, but I just want to try something different. So that being said, silicone casting, guys, I hope you're excited for it. It's going to be weird and messy and I'll probably cry, but that's okay. That's okay. So that's the plan for Wanda. I have no idea how long it's going to take me or actually when I'm really going to start on it. Probably this, com this coming week because I have some things that I will be getting completely done. So that's the timeline on Wanda. And after Wanda, hopefully we'll be Rose do it cater from Titanic. I don't have any other <laughs> any other IPs that are coming in in the middle of that and making me throw Rose off, you know, off the ship, pun intended. But hopefully I'll get to that point and we'll be ready to make Rose probably in mid midsummer, mid to late summer. So, that's that. Also to wrap up in this video, a little cosplay mental health therapy that I tried to give myself and maybe you guys needed to hear that as well so be kind to yourselves know if you're experiencing burnout all of us experience burnout even us skilled cosplayers of many many years <laughs> we experience it and if you want to talk about it um come into my discord i'm not a therapist but we have a lot of people in there that are cosplayers and 
We all talk about all kinds of things all the time, as well as I have a Scarlet Witch current uh, channel that we're talking about. A bunch of us are making the same outfit, and we're kind of shooting the shit and telling each other tips and tricks in my Discord. So head on over there. The link is in my bio below. But also, give yourself some rest, guys. We're in a pandemic. Cons aren't happening right now. Rest yourselves, because... Man, when conventions come back, all of us are just going to be even more tired because <laughs> we haven't been this socially uh, gathered like this in, in a while. So get your vaccine, get yourself some rest, and get yourself some epic costumes ready to take to the Florida convention. I can't wait to see you guys. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait. So thank you for joining me on this chatty video Wanda will be starting to make next week. And until then, join my Discord if you would like. Like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!